the reason why I love comedy is because I have a big ego and I love to be recognized and I love when I go on the street and people uh, tell me they love my jokes, etc, etc. But this week I had a very weird encounter with, with a fan. So I went to this coffee place and this girl started staring at me. Not like, not like flirting, staring. You know, no, she was like, that's how I flirt She, she, well, I think it's sexy. She, she started staring and I understood she, she was trying to figure out who the fuck I was. So I look at her and I go, comedy? Like, I, I did like jazz, I like comedy. And, and she's like, oh yes, yes, you're the comedian, the one with the black girlfriend. Yes, I love it, I love it. I love the fact that you talk about being in an inter-racist couple. Yeah, inter-racist couple. Did, did you mean interracial couple? No, you're very inter-racist. And for a moment, I had like an identity crisis because she was so sure. I was like, am I inter-racist? What does that even mean? That I'm like internally racist? Like I'm racist against my own kind? And I was like, maybe I am into racist, you know? Because every time I go to a party, when I see someone with at least three bottoms too many open on his shirt, a gold chain half covered by chest hair, that is speaking way too loud and is hitting on every girl doing like this. I always think, fucking Italians, you know? <laughs> Pizza lover motherfucker. So yeah, I'm too racist. I found out that about myself. It's interesting. But talking about going out, uh, me and my girlfriend... Sure. Okay. Me and my girlfriend actually decided to just reduce as much as possible the times we are seen together in Bali. And it might sound like a surprise to you people, uh, but the reason why we do that is because when we're out together, we get weird looks. Uh, some people seem offended when they see us together. Some people seem confused. Some people even seem mad when they see us together, which is fucked up, you know, because it's 2021 and this shouldn't happen. Now the reason why people look at us that way is not because I'm white and because she's black, it's because we're probably the only couple with a long-term happy monogamous relationship in China. <laughs> like people look at us and they're like, you two are not fucking other people in China? And you both make money. And, and she doesn't want to have your passport. They're so confused, they don't know what to do because people, what they do in Bali is, in Bali everyone fucks everyone. That's what happens in Bali. I could point at any one of you and say, who fucked this person? And at least five ants goes up. With any of you. Okay, let's try. Okay, no, no. I saw the, the panic in the eyes of the girl, they were like, fuck. I got you, motherfuckers. I got you. Okay, for example. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Bali is, is, is fucked up. Uh, the other day I was watching Instagram stories and there was a story from someone in Bali of one of these uh, snake sex bits. I don't know if you've ever watched the Discovery Channel when snakes have sex, they all bundled together. And as I was watching this story, then I realized, oh, that's, that's not a snake sex bit, that's Savaya on a Saturday. <laughs> that, that's what it was. Uh, it was just a bunch of Russians. Uh, yes. Um, but yeah, but Bali's weird, you know. I have this friend of mine, bless her soul. She told me that this month she had to delete and then create a new Tinder account three times. <laughs> So she's like everybody. You know, the third time, instead of saying there's no more matches in your area, 
he popped out a message that was like, slow down, bitch. Like, what do you want us to do? There's no more guys. Slow the fuck down. You can't have all the dicks, you know? When she deleted the app on the App Store, a suggested app that was the Bible. Because even the iPhone was like, you need Jesus, you know? Slow the fuck down. And, and I think that the reason, and the problem is that, and the problem that she has, and many of you have, is that you use Tinder thinking is like Pokemon Go Booty Call Edition, you know? You gotta fuck them all. That, that's how you, you guys use it. Because she started showing me all her matches like if it was a Pokedex. She was like, oh, this one. This one, this one is the Indonesian that after the second date asked for money for a sea county. He's a common one, I have three. Oh, this, this is a rare one. He's an Australian without a drinking problem. Very rare. I even have a legendary one. A Chinese Indonesian with a big dick. Don't worry, it's not you. Don't worry. It's not, it's not, it's not. Uh, but, but the most sought after Changumon of the mall. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make it a thing. The most, the most sought after Changumon of the girl. Some people don't even think it exists. Is Russian girl that pays for your drink. That's like never, never heard. That never happened. Actually, that that I never seen. But uh, catching. Russian Changumon is not that difficult, actually. It's pretty easy, you just need the right kind of Pokeball, you know? So what you do is, you, you see some isolated Russian Changumon, because when they're in group, they're, they're easily scared. You get close, not too close, like three, four meters. You get a, a loaded Pokeball, and then you go, Natasha, I choose you! And, and you get that's how it works. Uh, I'm going to take it back, otherwise all the Russian will start coming to the stage. <laughs> so, uh, but I get it, I get it. I mean, Tinder is a weird place. It is a weird place. Uh, especially if you're a man. Because Tinder in Bali, 30% of the girls are actually lady boys. It's true. And, and listen, I have nothing against like against dating a lady boy because at the end of the day an Indonesian dick never hurt anybody. Is it? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> now you can move Indonesia guys because now I'm talking about you. Uh, what? I'm being into racist, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but if you if you're confused, okay, if you are confused about sex in Bali and, and dating in Bali is is actually pretty easy, okay? All you got to do is follow a very simple equation. I call this equation the theory of sex relativity in Bali. Okay? And just like Einstein theory of special relativity is E equal MC squared, okay? The only thing is that depending where you are in Bali, the letters change the meaning. Let's give an example. For example, in Changu, E equal MC squared, okay? So the time you ejaculate, have sex, in Changu, is equal to the amount of money you have times the CrossFit classes you take in a week squared. E equal sure, MC squared. Now, in Ubud is different. Because in Ubud, your ejaculation ratio is equal to the times you manifest it times the crystals you have squared. E equal MC squared. In Samoa it's a little bit more tricky. Because in Samoa E goes from ejaculation to erection. Because considering the average age of the, the people in Samoa, the probabilities of an erection is equal to a miracle at Christmas square. That's, that's how it, it goes. 
Uh, I'm going to finish my set uh, as usual with the news because Bali is always, there's always some interesting news every week. Ah. Give it up while I sip my beer. <laughs> So in one of the, I don't know if you read it, in one of the regencies in Bali, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but what they did is to encourage people getting vaccinated. When they go take a shot, they have the possibility to win a scooter and a bicycle. Which is very interesting. So first of all, I know you're all very opinionated about the vaccine. I don't give a fuck, this is a joke, so chill the fuck out, okay? <laughs> just, just say. I don't care. Uh, but I don't think it would work in, ba in, uh, in Bali with the expat population, you know? If they would just give us the possibility to, I mean, I know you like free shit, but if they would give us the possibility to win a bicycle or a scooter, I don't think it would be enough. So if I was their marketing manager, this is what I would do. First of all, I would make it, I would do the opposite, I would make it more more exclusive to get the vaccination, you know? So you can get vaccinated only on the day where the full moon is gonna come out. You can do it Mercury in retrograde, and exactly only at 11.11. So this is the first step, this will be the first step. So the second, instead of giving you something, I would spread around Changu some vaccine coaches that that just like the, the life coaches, they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about, but, but they would ask you $3.99 a month until you get the second jab. And the third one, I think the main problem is, is, a main, is the main pro problem, because vaccine, you know, has a bad energy, you know, as a word. It doesn't really, so it, it should be rebranded, you know? Uh, do you guys have any, any idea? How should we rebrand the name vaccine? Uh, for example, we can, we can, what? Ketamine! One, one of the ketamine? Yeah, I know! Fucking Australian motherfucker. No, man, there's something edgy, something popular nowadays. So, for example... Jesus! Shut the fuck up, one at a time. Nah, I, like NFT, a middle fungible token. Yeah. Yeah. That could work. Or a crypto semovac. Ecstasy. Yeah. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. A sacred AstraZeneca ceremony. <laughs> See, I, there's anti, some anti vaxxers that are like, no, what about you do that? No, it's not such a good idea. Thank you very much, my name is Greg.